if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel and this is my channel name dr javed ikbal kokhar lectures on free hello everyone continuing with the topic of autopsy this is the 24th lecture on the topic and as we are discussing exhumation so in this lecture the learning objectives will be that i will be discussing the scope of exhumation that is what the benefits we can get in exhumation and limitations of the exhumation what are the limitation which limits the objective of the exhumation so the scope of ex exhumation is that the exhumation is rarely as beneficial as the first autopsy because the decomposition process has been started and this also depends upon the time factor after which the exhumation is going to be carried out but still it remains useful procedure because in a number of cases it, it is helpful to answer the medical legal questions so the required findings are not available as they are on the fr fresh bodies on the first autopsy on the first fresh bodies the findings are fruitful so the value and scope of exhumation depends upon the objective for which it is being performed if the findings are in the soft tissues then the procedure will not be beneficial due to the fact that the putrefaction process have destroyed the findings in soft tissues it will be beneficial only if the findings are in the hard tissues like bones or any metallic foreign body like the bullets they are recovered in poisoning cases especially if the metallic poisons they can be detected in putrefactive soft tissues if available and because the metallic poisons resist putrefaction they can still be found in soft tissues and if the soft tissues are not available at all then the hair nail and bones are important source for the metallic poisons to be detected because they are deposited in the hard tissues especially in chronic metallic poisons now regarding the limitations of exhumation the major limitation is the time the time elapsed between death and the time exhumation is the major limitation because the decomposition will completely destroy the soft tissue findings and if too much time has been elapsed then the body has been completely skeletonized in pakistan in and in india there is no time limit to pass an order for the autopsy on exhumed bodies but in other countries there is a time limit like in france it is 10 years in germany it is 30 years then the second limitation the condition of the body at the time of death is also important environmental conditions and the type of soil of the grave also plays an important role in putrefaction and skeletonization and 
other drawbacks. Then the microscopic examination will not be possible because as we know, the putrefaction and decomposition destroy the cellular details. The toxicological examination of poisons which are degradable or synthetic poisons and volatile poisons will not be possible. The biggest limitation is the inexperienced and untrained staff which can misinterpret the finding of exhumation. Thank you very much. This is all about the scope and limitation of exhumation. And this was the last lecture on exhumation. Thank you very much. Take care. Allah.